I'm Scott Eleanor. It is the 19th of May, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life living in Nicaragua. And today we're going on an adventure to La Paz Centro and we're taking Nicaragua 234 and filming it so you never have to. We're going to be back right after the bump. Take me back. And in this case, a lot of bumps. back to the old dirt road where mama and papa used to go. Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago And pine for them old days of yore Well, let me run through All right, so we started the day by taking a drive on Nicaragua 234. This is the main road other than the highway coming out of Leon to the east, and we thought, well, it takes a little bit longer because it's like the surface road and it goes through the villages. So it's not as fast as the longer carretera, but it'll be a good way to go and we'll see it. We'll film it for everybody. We're not really prepared for what a rough road this is. So luckily we filmed the drive and I'm going to show some of that now while we're talking because it's, you can't really do justice to this road. This is the main road coming out of Leon. I can't stress that enough. There aren't any roads that come close to this in size other than the highway that goes way out and around. And La Paz Centro is the neighboring city to Leon to the east and is part of the Departamento. So these are very closely uh, functional cities. Like they work together all the time. And this drive is so incredible. This was not supposed to be part of our day's adventure. This is just us driving to the first city so that we can begin doing interesting things. And this drive is going to be the memorable part of this trip for sure, because this turns out to be much longer than Google suggests that it is. And you move much slower. And I would really recommend that you have a four by four before you come down here. We are lucky that it has not been raining for a couple days because there's still some mud out here and some of those spots get pretty tough to get through. Nothing's stopping the car so far, knock on wood, but we're getting to some really rough spots. We're having to go all over the road. We're barely getting out of second gear ever. Um, and I had to go over an hour before I could even turn on this video because the driving was so intense. And if you look at the map, it goes through villages. So you think, ah, can't be that bad, it's going through villages. No, it's that bad. These are villages that are connected by people on horseback and and motorbikes, but not the, we have not seen another car come through here. This is awful. Uh, there is something in front of us. We're actually coming up. That might be a tuk-tuk. It might be a... I don't know what that is. But someone's being brave and coming through here. But this is absolutely ridiculous. So we're making our way to La Paz Centro. And uh, we're going to pick you up from there. we got the whole crew with us here today. So everybody say hi. Hola! If they can, if they can get into the camera before it bounces around completely. And uh, we're going to hopefully, hopefully survive this drive to La Paz Centro and we will see you from there. We survived the drive and we made it out to La Paz Centro. Now, before I show you Central Park, I'm gonna turn the camera around real quickly because this is what Leon Cent uh, this is what La Paz Centro is really known for is capaneros or tuk-tuks as we call them. That was perfect timing that another one arrived right as I said that, but they are used for taxis all over this city in this general area along with its sister city Nagarote and uh, there aren't as many places in Nicaragua where you see these all the time there's lots of places where you see them right they're not uncommon and like Didiambra, Hinotepe you see them a bit but here in La Paz Centro they are the main mode of transportation I have no idea why they are so popular here but this is two more that just appeared as I said this and uh, when you drive through from Leon. So in Leon, they're not allowed, so you don't find any at all. But here in La Paz Centro, they are absolutely everywhere. And so it's a, it's a stark difference as you switch from one to the other. So I'm gonna do a quick walk now. We're here in Central Park. And I want to show you what it's like. This is a beautiful park. So La Paz Centro is uh, the third city of the Departamento Leon, Leon being the first, and Nagarote being the second. La Paz Centro is the third. Those three make up the three main cities. Everything else is 
kind of a pueblo rather than a city. But these have beautiful big parks, lots of stuff going on. But La Paz Centro is not big enough to have a single hotel that we're aware of. And we have asked locals and they agree that there are none. So this is the Centenario de Ruben Darío Obelisk here in the park. This is a nice park. A lot of parks here in Nicaragua have gazebos. This one has interesting paseos. Uh, and of course, there is the uh, the village or the city Iglesia across the street. So we'll check that out real quickly. And the national police are right here on the corner. Ladies, hola. So we, we, here we have the gazebo, well guarded by dogs. These dogs are very upset that I'm coming by. I've been by over and over again, and they're consistently not happy with me. You're just not happy with me, but you're just a guard dog of the park. He growling. All right. So one of the things I like about this Central Park, it's pretty small, but it really has a lot going on. It has these cute little paseos or passageways to walk in and out of the park. And they make a big deal of making each one about something. And they have these archways going over them. And because they do this, if you watched our Hino Tepe episode just a few days ago, I talked about how it allowed, it kept people from walking on the grass. It allowed them to have like garden areas that actually worked. And that's working here as well in a different style. So I like this. This is definitely an older park than we saw in Hino Tega. So we got a statue there. And then in each of these, of course, I'm guessing I'm going to find this as I walk out because I've seen it in the others. Normally they have a sign that says which passage it is and it's dedicated to something. This one may be the, uh, the main one. This is the uh, construction sign. All right, we're gonna walk around and show. I'm also gonna show as I go around. There's a lot to see right here in the central, uh, central uh, uh, square. So here we're gonna turn around and we have this big memorial wall here that separates this into a boulevard on this side of the park. So that's a bit different. And they have these pretty benches in, uh, made of bricks along the side. It's, it's nice. It's a, it's a nice little city. Uh, the drive in was crazy, but it was, it was interesting for sure. This place definitely lights up for Christmas. You can see that they have permanent Christmas lights built on everywhere. So they just have to turn on the lights when the holidays come a little bit weird that they do that. Okay, so this is a boulevard on this side as well. Notice there's a memorial at the top and then a line of fast food restaurants. We're here on a slow afternoon, so very few things are open, but some are, so I'm planning on stopping by some places while we're here. That one even has solar power, nice. These are actually decently attractive uh, and it's great having these little shops along the park. It makes for a little commercial district. What is that? What are these? In each of the little sections is like a different theme of garden style. This one clearly has a water feature not currently on. And it is a Christmas themed thing, but there's a waterfall that then goes up a little river that goes through there and then disappears there. Not sure when that gets turned on. Hopefully we can get here sometime to see it. And then this is a fountain as well. Not currently on, but you can tell it had water recently, so they do use it. And then we're going to take this walkway and you can see another line of fast food restaurants. So there's a lot here going on for food, much like Guadalupe in Leon. But this place, this larger one on my right, I'm going to show in a second, is open. There's also a lot of dogs in this park. What is there, this? All right, now I want to show this over here next to the police station. Right here is the Casa de Cultura. This is the cultural center for the city. And right now they're setting up for Mother's Day, which here happens on the 30th. See all the capaneras, the tuk-tuks, they just keep coming by. I say tuk-tuks because most people know them as tuk-tuks, but capanera is what they're known as here in Nicaragua. So if you say tuk-tuk, people will have no idea what you're saying because uh, they really don't know the word by and large. Uh, but for my audience, you probably call them tuk-tuks. So to keep from being confusing, I say both. Uh, so the cultural center here is setting up for Mother's Day, which comes up on the 30th. Here in Nicaragua, it's like always on the 30th of May. 
uh, other places have already had it. It's floating, it's on a Sunday or whatever. Uh, if you're here in town, this is a much smaller city. If you go to Nagarote, you have uh, a Super Express or an AMPM, you have a Pronto gas station. You have places you can stop 24 seven that have bathrooms, you can get drinks. Here, it's just smaller. and We're not aware of anything like that in the city. So the cultural center, which happens to be open right now, has bathrooms and that's just a tip if you're going to come out to to la paz centro and you want to walk around and investigate a little bit you might need to plan a little bit that there aren't the kind of businesses and facilities that you may be expecting in some other places so just either plan ahead and and don't think you're going to need to use anything uh or uh be prepared you may have to run either to nagarote or leon but the cultural center has bathrooms and i'm sure other places do too but that's where we found, uh, so it's a good thing to take note of. All right, we're going to go explore some more of this beautiful park and get walking around the city. It was a bit of a long drive getting here. Going the way that we did on Nicaragua 234 was totally the wrong decision. So we're a lot hotter and more tired and later in the day than we were expecting to be. But the four of us are going out for a little walk now. We just set out from Central Park. Uh, and just heading to some of the streets around the middle of town so you can get a little bit of a view of what La Paz Central actually looks like. Because when you come through on the highway, as everyone does, uh, this city sits completely north of the highway. There's really nothing to the south of it. So you're, you're basically skirting the edge of the city. And the edge of the city, I mean, all of the city, is famous for its casillos, along with its sister city of Nagarote. Uh, they both compete to be the home of Casillos and Capaneros. Uh, and so, the, the, as you come through on the highway, that is what is everywhere. Every bit of the, the highway is lined with Casillo shops because that's what they're famous for and people driving through from other regions, that's what they want to stop for and uh, they have to compete with the other city. So it's a really big thing. Uh, so you don't get much of a view of real life in the city at all because you're spending uh, every bit of, of visibility as you drive through is just casillo shops, which is neat. If you want to stop for a casillo uh, as you come through, that's a really easy thing to do. And casillos are a kind of unique Nicaraguan food. I don't know any other region that does anything like it. So stopping for that can make a lot of sense. Uh, they're very inexpensive and I will, I'm going to, I don't know if we're going to show any on today's show. Uh, because we already stopped for ice cream. We were very worn out. So we got water and um, Eskimo ice cream and hung out on Central Park for a few minutes to cool down before going for a walk. And uh, so now we're just venturing through the streets of the city. We are heading to the best of my knowledge south and I see uh, a big, I'm pretty sure we can see the highway. So I'm gonna turn this around. That big archway down there is the highway. And so I think we're gonna head off this way. We don't wanna to walk too far today, right? Like it's really warm and uh, we've got a lot of things we wanna do and we just kinda of wanna get a feel for La Paz Centro. This is not a place you're very likely to come as a tourist. So let me just say that. Like if you have a car and you're coming through anyway and you wanna stop for a Casillo or you need just to get out of the car for a minute and walk around Central Park, really easy to park up there and a nice little park to sit there and there's a bunch of little stands so you're likely to be able to get food or something so all that's good so consider that but if you're going to make a point of coming out to La Paz Centro that's probably not going to make sense it just isn't uh, they don't have any attractions here their claim to fame is that they make roofing material here in the country and so a lot of us get our our ranchero roofs our rancho roofs from here this is where the artisans for that come from there's some good looking donuts in that window actually kind of that's the Panaderia San Luis we're not gonna stop, I don't think, but they did have good looking donuts as we walked by. So uh, this is much more likely to be a location that you're simply passing through. Due to the lack of hotels, it's really hard to use it as a base for anything. Uh, if people are gonna visit you, this would not be a place you would use. If you're looking for a place to stay, this is not, it's just not gonna work out. But if you're looking for that secondary city uh, lifestyle. We talked about that a little bit on the Talika episode. It's worth noting that a city like this is much bigger than a Talika, and there's just a lot more going on. Buenas tardes! And so if you're looking for uh, 
a way to live outside of a main city. Let me just swing around. Nice, very cute little house over here. I like that a lot. Very well done. We actually had some, we had some cute houses on the drive here, but they're very remote out in the middle of nowhere. So it's very, it's very hard to show them. We'd have to like pull over in their driveway basically to film them. Um, actually, I'm going to turn this around. Let me, we're coming up on something. I don't know if it's construction. I don't know what we're looking at. Uh, but a city like this is very low key, very laid back, extremely low cost, uh, and, and, and very close to Leo. Not the way we came. That would be foolish, but if you came on the highway, you're only like 40 minutes outside of Leon, and so if, maybe less. And so if you want to be able to get to Leon, uh, but you want a, a city that's big enough that it does have things a little bit, then this city or ones like it can be a really good option where you can get an extremely non-expat life. Cute random yellow door hiding out. What, what is this? Okay. So you have, you have this lifestyle option that, that no one ever looks at and no one knows how to address, right? How do you find out what exists in a town like, like La Paz Central? You, you can't, right? You have to get out and walk the streets and get a feel for, for the little blocks and, and what's going on. Now I want to show this a little bit. So these houses are up a little bit. Cami for scale. So this is, you can see that their foundations are quite high and I'm gonna show it here on the corner because this one's really dramatic that they have, this is a rock outcropping. Now for the street, they've actually cut through it, right? So this is actually cut into the rock to drive the street through and over here too. It gets lower over here, but you see some of it popping up right down here as well. And where Chris is standing, that's that's laid stones. That's not uh, not completely natural. It's a mix because they had to fill it in. But, so some of these houses are set really high because they they have to be. There's this really strong uh, stones that they're, that they're building around. So that's really interesting. We do see that in a number of towns. Nicaragua is kind of mountainous, so it does happen from time to time. Uh, here, I'll show more as we walk by over here because this is really interesting. And this is something you don't get very often in the U.S. There's just something about the way we build houses. If we come up on rocks like this, we just kind of skip it, right? We just have a spot without a house. And here, they take a moment and they build the houses right into or around the rocks in this whole side over here. When we're up in Matagalpa, they do some of this right in the middle of the city, actually. And you get some really interesting buildings because of it. Here, I want to get a little bit of distance. You can see, like, that house is over a story tall just for its foundation, and then it all goes up from there. So that's just interesting. Uh, both sides here. So if you're so if you're interested in moving, if this is this is really the kind of place you would look at for relocation, not for a tourist. So if you're just traveling, probably not a city you're going to care about at all, except for the Casilla thing. If you're traveling, um, also if you're taking the UCA bus which is the University of, of Central America, and it's named that because it stops at the terminal, which is located next to uh, University of Central America. If you're taking the UCA bus from Managua to Leon, quite often that bus will stop in, let me show the street here as we walk by, and we're gonna turn the camera, sorry for all the swinging around. Same thing here, cut through rock outcroppings that they then built around to make the street here. Buenas tardes. Uh, if you're coming in on the Uka bus, sorry, I got distracted, as I always do. <laughs> the Uka bus quite often stops at a restaurant called Landers uh, that sits on the side of the road. That is in La Paz Central. It's not in the city, but it's nearby. It's part of the, the city area. And that uh, is a great place to stop and get um, snacks and stuff when you're on the bus. So they, they often stop the bus and collect your fares from there. Uh, and then and then you get a moment to, to buy, they'll run in and hand things through the window or whatever. That's La Paz Centro. The other thing that happens here is if they're not stopping there, sometimes they stop at one of the Casillo restaurants that is actually in the city. And you actually have a moment to order Casillos and have them 
uh, handed to you inside the bus. If they do that, I highly recommend it. It's a great experience on the buses. Uh, it's, it's a handy way to get a meal. It is very cheap and you get authentic La Paz Centro uh, Casillos. None of that, you know, Managua knockoff stuff. Um, and you get to say you actually did it. So that's part of the experience here. All right. So this is like an older structure here. There's this big, cute new one here on this corner. And I think we're gonna head up the hill here. I didn't realize that La Paz Centro had so much of an elevation change as you go through. There's my team sprawling all over the street, getting my picture taken. <laughs> all right. This is a cute, low key little city. Uh, nothing, definitely not exciting. I don't, don't want to get your hopes up, right? <laughs> but it's, uh, it's got potential, right? One of the nice things is these cities, the size, there's like no traffic. So it's easy to walk around those tuk tucks, the Campaneros, they are so cheap to take and so easy. I wish we had those in Leon. That would be so great for, for taxi service. Of course, in a larger city, it causes problems, right? You want to get across the city faster. You need to squeeze more people in more often, whatever. But here in the smaller cities, they really work great. I'm, I'm glad that they have them. Uh, so that's, that's all pretty cool. Sorry, the battery died there. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about the town and want to see a little bit more of it, hop over to our sister channels like Drive Warp, where we're going to show one episode where we're coming from Leon to La Paz Centro, and another, we hope, where we're leaving from La Paz Centro and going to Puerto Mumbo Tumbo. Uh, so two episodes we expect to have up on Drive Warp that will give you some complete drives through drive throughs of uh, La Paz Centro. And uh, also go check out our other sister channel, Nicaragua 360, where we have a 360 video going up taken here at Central Park and the church. I'm standing at the church and the park is right there. So now that we've done a little bit of walk, we've shown the park, we've let you know about a couple other things. I'm gonna pop into the church here and uh, show you around real quickly. This isn't a cathedral, it is just the local church. Uh, very nice though, it is very attractive. Open in the middle of the day, you can just come visit of course. And as always, the churches are right next to the Central Park or the Plaza Mayor. Uh, so very easy to come and visit should you need anything. Everything here in the city is basically right on the main square. And that's these smaller cities, that's how it works. It's not until you get to the really big cities like Leon, like Granada, that you have a sprawling city full of things through all the different barrios. Here, things tend to be extremely centralized. So more or less, any restaurants, activities, uh, shopping that you're going to need to do is going to be within the one block radius outside of the immediate uh, Central Park and Iglesia area. All right, so that is our day here. Thank you so much for joining us. Please remember to like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel. Just pop right up here. We're gonna put up a link, buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. And if you'd like to get any information, like you wanna learn more, if you're interested actually in moving to a place like La Paz Centro, and you have no idea where to start, you need someone to come out and look and see if houses are available, what's for sale, what rents are gonna be, how you could possibly live in a place like this, we would love to help. Or if it's just giving you a tour, bringing you down and helping you uh, drive around the country and see little communities like this or big cities or beaches or whatever, shoot us an email, info at relocatenicaragua.com. We would love to help or just to have a conversation on the phone and sit down and talk about questions you may have and, and help you make some plans very quickly uh, and, and get information about the country that otherwise would be pretty hard to get. Share with your friends, put it on social media, link it wherever it is that you hang out and I will see all of you after you go down after you, you go down and say hi, say, oh, that's a pretty city. I'm interested in getting a Capanera and being a taxi driver, whatever. I like this one, wait. A lot of these actually put these, these nitrous oxide stickers on the back. I guarantee there are no Capaneros with nitrous oxide. It's a very funny thing to put on there. Leave your comments, ask your questions, and I will see all of you tomorrow.